Hi, I'm Richard, uh, one of the experts at U-Switch, and here are some of the energy questions that you asked. Why are energy rates increasing just as the colder months approach uh, when consumption typically rises? Well, our bills are made up of a couple of things. You've got the rates that our tariffs are set at, and you've also got how much we use. And obviously in winter, we use a lot more because the heating's on, it's cold, um, we're in the house a lot more. So we're using a lot more in the first place. But that also has an effect on the rates sometimes as well. The rates when you're on a default tariff is set by something called the price cap. Uh, that is set by the regulator and that looks at all the different costs that suppliers have to pay. And the wholesale costs sometimes get influenced by the season as well. And because a lot of people are using a lot more um, over winter, sometimes that pushes the rates up as well. So you kind of get that double whammy. It's important to note though, if you're on one of those standard plans, the default tariff, that's the thing that follows the price cap and that price changes every three months months so there's a chance for that to get affected by those seasonal dynamics. Now if you take a fixed deal you can fix the rates part of the tariff um, for often 12 months and that means you don't have that sign of seasonal changes coming through but of course you'll still be using more most likely over winter. Okay you asked how does the energy price cap work and why does it keep changing? So the energy price cap is set by the energy regulator Ofgem and now every three months they come along with their spreadsheet and look at all the costs that go into um, providing energy that suppliers face and the biggest amount of that is what the wholesale energy market is doing and that does change quite frequently. The way it works though is not a cap on your overall bill, even though it's quite often expressed as a big annualised figure. What it does is review the unit charges and the standing charges um, that apply to the default tariff. So that's the amount you use for every unit of energy you use, but also a daily charge um, that applies for all the fixed costs that go into your energy bill as well. Ofgem comes along and updates that. It changes in January, April, uh, July and October. Um, and changes quite regularly. The key thing is with it though, is it's, you know, it's quite a pain that every, every three months the thing changes and it means that you can get shocks to your bills that you weren't expecting because those wholesale costs and everything get flown through if they change quite quickly. But you can take a fixed deal that's not subject to the price cap where you can lock in a bit of certainty for 12 months or sometimes um, even more if you want to and you don't want to be on that roller coaster. What are standing charges and why are they so high? So energy bills are made up of two key things. You've got the unit charges, the unit rates, that's the charges for every unit of electricity and gas that you use, and standing charges, which is our daily fee that apply both for electricity and gas that are supposed to recover the fixed costs that the supplier faces. That might be the transmission network, the cost of the meter, all that kind of stuff, which stays the same regardless of how much that you use. They have gone up quite a lot in recent years and they're proving really, really controversial, particularly for those households that are really trying to save money on their energy bill by using less. You can reduce that, uh, the energy bill, through reducing the amount that's going on those unit charges, but the standing charges stay the same. So they are annoying. They have gone up because some of those fixed costs have gone up. The regulator is reviewing them. They might change over time, but um, yeah, they are a painful uh, daily charge. Hopefully that was useful. If you have any other questions or comments, let us know uh, or have a look at eSwitch.com.